Alrighty then, alrighty then. Let's play a little bit more tonight. Let's play a little bit more. We're gonna start off this season. And then we will, uh... We'll, we'll see what happens. I meant to stay over here. Then we'll see what happens in terms of switching over to stuff. Again, it is Marshawn, Bergeron, and Pasternak. Bergie and Marshy have dropped a little bit in terms of rating. DeBrus, Kopstein, Hall, Coyle, Smith, Lauko, Kuntar, and Nordqvist is a minus one. I'm not that worried. Defensively, Lindholm, McAvoy, Lore, Carlo, Brendan Smith, and Victor Berglund. We are going to start with Brendan Smith there. And in goal, Swayman and Allmark. So plenty of room. Plenty. To, you guys, to use guys like John Beecher and Fabian LaSalle, who either don't really have space or aren't really developing the way I needed them to develop. It is a little bit of a shame. In terms of coaching staff, uh, Eddie, what I normally do is go two in the W, two in the O, two in the Q, two in the West, two in the Central, two in the East, one in each of the European leagues, one in the SHL and Liga in Russia, and sometimes you'll have extras, and then you can put them wherever the hell you want, but at least have representation pretty much everywhere. Let's see. Of course that coach rejected. Screw it. We don't need a full coaching staff in the AHL. We do not. I don't know who the hell would have been unhealthy. It's the preseason. But I need to know. I need to know how this team is going to perform. Kana, it is good to see you. I hope you are well. We need to see how well this team is going to perform. Tempted to look at other lines, but at the same time, eh, aside from Seattle. Aside from Seattle. Which is Huberto, Matthews, McCann, Domi, Wright, Geeky, Pete, Gord, Beneers, Eiserman, Trennan, Yanmark. And then Alexiak, Wah, Dunn, Larson, McIsaac, and Borgen. And Nadalkovich and Grubauer in goal. Which is pretty nuts. It does remind me, though. It does remind me. Uh, first and foremost, we need to turn the draft class quality back to medium. Trade difficulty back to hard. Now that we're done moving peeps. And let's rock, baby. Let's rock. Home and home against Detroit to start the season. And Mike Callahan in the AHL. What was that, an injured neck, did it say? And we're all about those injured necks. And getting shut out three to nothing. Oh, Mark, let's see what you got. It's your last season in Boston. Unless you're willing to take a massive, massive pay cut. Because there's no way I'm willing to pay a goalie that much if I'm going to be paying the starter. All Mark's going on a damn good run here, though. Finally loses. Mr. Besser, how are you, buddy? Doing pretty good. We are doing pretty, pretty well. Uh, let's sim these next two games. It was back-to-back -back losses for All Mark. Gets a 1-0 shutout against Minnesota. Not bad at all. Sway is the way. Let's get Tendek in there for Tynan. And we'll take Mako Scandella out for Mitch Callahan. That coach is not a very good fit for my defense. I do not care. Let's see. Sway gets the win over Winnipeg. Did that say Toronto was in first? No, okay. They are even in points with us, though, even though they have two more games. Which is kind of ridiculous. They did just lose Austin Matthews, but what are you going to do? Watch the All-Star race for NASCAR. I have not gotten into NASCAR this season at all. F1 is just totally taken over. It's probably because the NASCAR video games are trash, while the F1s are incredible. So, Mr. Webster! Good to see you as well. How's it going, Dan? Man, look at Allmark. 931. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some wins there, Ollie. Let's get some wins there, fellas. John Beecher injures his hip. He is not going to be a Bruin for too much longer. He is a great, great trade piece for us at this stage. Miss the old NASCAR games, yeah. We had a lot of fun with the likes of uh, Heat 4 and Heat 5 on this channel. And I mean, at the same time, can't always go back to them, but it's not like those games were perfect either. I just said we had fun with them. So. Cody, I don't know. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Alright, Sway. You got two games here, bud. Our record's looking pretty good. Now yeah, Dag got you in the racing. Well, I mean, he was the one that's like, hey, play this. And I'm like, hey, sure, fuck it. And yeah, it did kind of spark me getting back in the race. You're not wrong. Hampus is hurt. I need a lefty. 
Mako Scandella. Actually, how's Nemec doing at the AHL level? God, he's he's good. He is good. How has Brendan Smith done? I mean, a lot of penalty minutes, but honestly, Brendan Smith has been pretty good too. Let's call up Marco Scandella. I'm going full. I'm going full Don Sweeney with my roster builds right now. This is hilarious. Marco, welcome. You get to play with Charlie McAvoy. Why? Because that way I don't have to fix the AHL lines at the same time. It's a beautiful thing. It is December 2nd. We are atop the Atlantic Division. I'm not going to worry about anything too crazy. It became the thing you swore to destroy. <laughs> you know? I really did. I really, really did. It's funny how that works. But we did beat the Islanders 9-3. to So... Maybe Don's on to something. <laughs> Maybe Donnie's on to something, you know? Maybe he is in that job for a reason after all. Andrew Kopp separates his shoulder. He'll be out for a month. That is unfortunate. We can call up pretty much anybody here, though, to replace him. It can't be John Beecher because then we'd have to trade him. Trent Frederick. I can't imagine you have too much trade value. Trent Frederick, let's go. I've been playing the old MLB is all week. Mm. Again, I missed out on a lot of PS3 era. Much as I hate to say it. Trent Frederick, come on down, buddy. Let's boost up that trade value a little bit, shall we? And just go ahead and boost up that there trade value. Let's get Milan Lucic in at center. Who says no? Who says no? All right, so we are without Andrew Kopp for a... Actually, two months. He was out until February 1st. It's only December 1st. For some reason, I thought it was January already, even though that's, I literally said it was December like two minutes ago. We just keep winning hockey games right now. We're going to lose to Carolina because I said that. Now we beat Carolina. If only we could do that in the playoffs. Allmark has a 925, and Allmark has actually gotten the majority of the games. He's been the hotter goaltender. Sway gets a win over Florida, though. You know, this team... This team... Antikivy. What the hell? You did it three times. Yeah, how about four, though? Fucking go figure. Allmark's been crushing it. This team in general has been crushing it. 25, 9, and 2. Despite the clear weaknesses on this team, we are still doing very, very well. And that is very, very surprising. I don't even remember the last time we lost back-to-back -back games. I feel like it's been either super recently or a long, long time ago. As we play the Alberta teams on the road and lose to both of them. The game listens to you. I'm telling you, the game listens. There are microphones and black helicopters. This is bullshit. Your playlist is super diverse. Isn't it, B Major? Isn't it? We can go from listening to System of a Down to Lionel Richie. There's a song by the uh, by Buckethead and the Red Hot Chili Peppers coming up. And then Nirvana. And then Jimmy Eat World. And then Ghost and the Beastie Boys. The Weeknd. Revis. Shout out to Revis. What a... What a the game is stream sniping, basically. Basically. We beat San Jose. Can we beat the Kings? Mason Lore gets hurt. Ugh. Well, the good news is we have Marco Scandell and Brendan Smith, baby! And it's working. Like, Brendan Smith takes a shitload of penalties, but somehow this is working. Any Imagine Dragons? No. <laughs> no. Nope. Can't say there is, Budski. Oh, man. Bergeron's down to an 82. Oh, no. Oh, this might be it for Patrice Bergeron, everybody. This might be it. Bowen! You beautiful man. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, we're going to get to February and then take a look around the league because we're just passing the halfway point now. Mason Lore is 
fully healthy. Let's get him back in for Mako. Mako Scandella. And uh, we want Mantikivy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mamba Jumbo. Let's keep it going. John Beecher gets hurt in the AHL. John Beecher will not stop getting injured. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Let's get Tucker back in there. Pass the puck to Tucker. And then let him bobble it so he tries to play it like Mike Smith and he gets hit and everyone blames the guy that hits him. Because it's definitely not possible for a goalie to make a bad play and be partially at fault for contact. Definitely not. Let's get Copper back in there for Freddie. How did Freddie do? Six points in 22 games. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Jealous of the menu speeds. The new consoles are beautiful. The new consoles are a thing of beauty. For that reason alone. Oof, back-to-back -back loss is not great. How is this team winning? Because fuck you. <laughs> Have you ever considered that? Taylor Hall, injured ribs. He'll be out until the middle of February. We lost three in a row for the first time in God knows how long. We sit at 32, 17, and Trace. Which is good for second in the division behind the Ottawa Senators. We got Toronto. Sans Austin Matthews also in a pretty good position. In the Metro, it is the Rangers, Devils, and Hurricanes. Okay. The Pacific, Edmonton, Vegas, and San Jose. The Seattle Kraken uh, and Austin Matthews currently outside looking in. And in the Central, Arizona, Minnesota, Colorado are your top three. So we are currently the fifth best team in the NHL. You'll love to see it. Oh my god, I'm so... Okay, chat, you, like, okay, for the YouTube side of things. Okay, it's not gonna show up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hold on. Hold on. I am gonna make sure this shows up. Refresh. Pop up, damn it. Pop up. Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care. Give me a second. Give me a second. If I pop out the chat, does it still show properly? It does. Okay. You ready? You ready? Are you ready for this? You're gonna have to look at this, everybody. You're gonna have to look at this. It might get cut off. I'll come over here. Yo, Tugi, man, your streams have gotten me through all of high school. <laughs> I graduate on Friday. <laughs> I'm so fucking old. How have I been doing this this long? Where is my life gone? I want it back. Who took my time? Jesus. Congratulations, sir. If it makes you feel any better, I graduated high school 10 years ago next month in June. It's fucking awful. <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> oh, God. I have a mortgage. I'm, I have a receding hairline. I'm partially balding. I'm so old. EA took your life. Yeah, they basically did. EA the succubus. Fucking EA the succubus, I tell you. <laughs> Where did my life go? Have you seen me play franchise mode? <laughs> Holy shit, if I make it to 40, I'm on borrowed time with what this series has done to me. Oh, Danny, I have already had people say, hey, I was watching you in middle school and I just graduated college. That has already happened. That has already happened. It's awful. Bergeron has 44 points in 52 games, despite being just an 82. Oscar Steen, 26 and 52. I mean, for 4 million bucks, I'd like to see a little bit better. Lauko, by the way, does have power play time, but Lauko's doing well. Charlie Coyle, Kuntar, honestly, on the fourth line. You know, this team is actually doing really well. Marshawn's killing it. Our scoring is on point this year. We have a very, very strong offense this year. You'll love to see it. Lore is doing well. I can't believe Brendan Smith is actually putting up points. Started watching when I was in sixth and I graduate next year. <laughs> God. Oh, man. It's terrible. It's terrible. I, ha I have a... Uh... 
I have a niece who's graduating high school next year. <laughs> she was born when I was nine. What the hell? Oh, it's the worst. Anyway, goaltending-wise, shout-out to Linus Hallmark, who's been much, much better than Jeremy Swayman, to the point where I don't know if Sway is going to get that big money deal. I don't know if he is. Um, as I continue to try to avoid chat. Um, mainly because if we look at the expiring deals... Oh, God. So Sway is an RFA. Jeremy Swayman will not be the uh, starting goaltender of the Boston Bruins for too much longer. There's no way. There's no way. He's going to be way too expensive. He also doesn't want to resign, but he's not in control of that. 12 years old, watching Rebuilding Hockey Down. Oh, my God. Allmark wants about $4 million. Wow, if it's a two, if it's a one- or three-year deal, he, he doesn't want it. But a two-year deal is the sweet spot for Allmark. Defensively, there's not much Berglund can do. Lore is also an RFA. All right, what about on the wing? I, saw, I know we saw Marchand and Hall. Brad wants seven mil. Taylor Hall wants six again. And Bergy wants four. Man, I have no idea what I'm going to do in terms of, like, the, the core. The core of this team. I have no idea. Quickly, uh, a look at the rest of the league, by the way. Connor McDavid destroys Worlds. So does Dreisaitl Kaprizov. McKinnon, who's in Anaheim now, by the way, after spending a year in Carolina. Boldy, Rantanen, and Seattle's Austin Matthews. In terms of goals, McKinnon. <laughs> McDavid, Dreisaitl, Matthews, Rantanen, Kaprizov, Sabanajad, Boldy, and Jekyll. On defense... Yeah, I mean, he knew Bouchard was going to be up there. McDavid and Dreisaitl are up there. He's basically the modern-day Paul Coffey, according to the Sim. So. Both the main defensemen for the Oilers are crushing it. Dougie Hamilton has 25 goals already. Winning us goaltender is Stuart Skinner, who also has the most shutouts. Peter Kachekov and Igor Shosturkin at 929 save percentages are leading the way. And in the rookie race, Uri Slavkovsky for the San Jose Sharks. Former third overall pick is up there, as is Oscar Olison, who they acquired from Colorado. Let's go to Gil Thomas, Otto Stenberg, Matt Michkov. It's a hell of a rookie class. That's his one hell of a rookie class. Let's sim to our next game. Josh Bailey is on waivers. I mean, fuck it. Why not? His deal's up at the end of the year. I'll claim Josh Bailey. He'll help out the AHL. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? So Taylor Hall is still out. Which means Trent Frederick is in. We'll go best lines in the AHL. Let's get Tendek some more games. The Tendek. Luno and Nemich are getting that much better. Uh, and then forward-wise... Get Bobby Ryan out of there for Furcus. Get Princess Buttercup out there for Curtis Hall. And Luch gets you out of there for Brett Harrison. Let's keep it going. I want to get to the deadline. I don't know if we'll go through it. We lose 5 nothing to the Leafs. Taylor Hall is healthy as we beat Buffalo. Give the other goalie the next two games. Hawks with the bits. Remember when tech decks were popular? I, I do. <laughs> I lived it. I I lived it. And they also had... God, there were... They basically had the same thing where it was like a BMX bike. A dirt bike. I remember Mighty Beans as well. I'm an old man. Connects. The good old days. Now all we have is X-Tech instead. In fairness, that's an upgrade. In fairness, that's an upgrade. X-Tech's an upgrade, man. What a beauty. Guy's gonna be a dad. Guy's gonna be a dad. We're gonna keep losing games. Tristan Luno gets hurt in Providence. Brandon Carlo gets hurt at the NHL level. And we do beat Chicago 8-5. to 
Patrice Bergeron suffers a concussion. Well, Trent Frederick's in the lineup. Let's go best lines. Uh-huh. That's going to have to be it. Oscar Steen is our top line guy. That's going to have to be the defense. Keep swaying just to try to make him better, but like, man... Horrible time for the injuries to start adding up because the deadline is just about here. Bergie is healthy. And I think we need to negotiate some of those extensions now. I think we do. Let's get Trent Frederick out of there for Craig Smith. Taylor Hall still listed as a third liner. We are going to have some tough decisions to make here in terms of who we look to bring back and who we don't. Like I said, Ingle, Swayman, he's asking for now $8 million bucks a season. Uh, I'm not willing to do that either. So we will let him continue to be an RFA at the end of the year. There's no way he's getting $8 million bucks. Allmark does want to come back. I'm not willing to pay Linus Allmark five million bucks yet because, in fairness, that is what he's been making, and I feel like I can get a 913 save percentage out of somebody else for less than five million. Defensively, Berglund and Lore are RFAs. I don't have to worry about anybody else. Bailey, Colasar, Clutterbuck, don't get to worry about any of them. Brad Marchand. I mean, we're not going to lose Brad. Not a chance. He wants a two-year deal. I am willing to give that to him. The question is, is he willing to take a little bit of a discount to stay in Boston? He's done it before. Will he do it again at 625, which is technically a raise? Uh, Taylor Hall. Two years at 6.1. 41 points. Oh, Taylor. It's 5 million bucks. Basically 5.2. You're on a 56-point pace. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. If he accepts that, I'm willing to go for it. And then centers, Bergy wants a one-year deal at 4.7. And again, we'll try yield 85% trick. 4 million even. Four million even. And then Trent Frederick actually doesn't even want that much, so. Did he want to come back? Yeah, he did. Here, Trent, I'll even give you a raise. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, and if we can get those deals done early. Carlos healthy. Bergeron is back. Bergeron is back if he doesn't retire. Brad Marchand is back if he doesn't retire. Taylor Hall is back. Frederick is back. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Beautiful. That means we have $20 million to work with next offseason. $20 million right now, which is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Watch them retire. Hey, if they do, we're okay. We're good no matter what direction the wind blows. Speaking of blows, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Before we head to deadline day, baby, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what's out there. If they retire, we don't have to worry about the cap. It's not programmed that way. Nathan McKinnon's available. Fucking what? <laughs> Okay. What did, what, did he sign another one-year deal? So, defensively. McAvoy, Carlo, and Holm. I mean, we could use improvements on either side defensively. And then forwards, there's really not much I can do unless we swap people out. 
We already have a trade involving Vancouver. They get Christian Dvorak from Montreal. Fair enough. So Nathan McKinnon is out there. One year deal at 14 million. He is just like the ultimate marauder. Can't get a deal for him. One year left after this for Cam Fowler. No deal. Henrique, four years left. Tarasenko, two. Yeah, there's nothing there. Montreal trades. Rem Pitlick and a third to the Oilers for a first round pick. GG's. Let's see. Nobody on Arizona. Tage Thompson. One year left at 8 million. Holy shit. It's up to a 90. Fabian LaSalle in a first for Tage Thompson. <laughs> Fucker has 33 goals. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I think I'll do that. LaSalle's not looking like he's going to develop, unfortunately. You know, his starting overall is a bit too low. Tage Thompson, welcome to the Boston Bruins. I told you guys I was going to be way more aggressive at this deadline. Tage Thompson, welcome to Boston. How do you like that? How do you like that? Tage Thompson, a fairly easy pickup. So really quickly then, as Vegas makes a deal... It's going to be Marshawn Thompson. Wild G, thank you for the fall, by the way. Marshawn Thompson pasta. And then it will be probably Cop, Bergy, DeBrusque. And then third line, we do have to get rid of somebody. But we have Hall, Coyle, uh, Steen, and Smith. So somebody of that third line has to go. It's one of my favorite songs of all time, by the way. It was on the YouTube side later on. It's uh, Munich by the editors. So Smith has a year left. Hall has that extension kicking in. You got Coyle and Steen. I am somewhat regretting that Taylor Hall extension. Coyle has 28 points. Steen has 28 assists. Hall's doing well. Oof. Let's just see really quickly. Is there an offer out there for Charlie Coyle? Yes. 14 of them. To be exact. Oscar Steen. 14 of them. To be exact. Taylor Hall. 7. Including Patrick Kane. <laughs> and Craig Smith. Okay. Every single one of them can get a trade offer. Interesting. Interesting. You know what? Really quickly. I know I still... Wow, Drew Doughty just got traded to Calgary. Holy crap, how'd they afford it? How the hell did they afford it? I need to see what else is out there really quickly, especially in terms of defense. Someone like Jake McCabe could be perfect. Lauko Jansen in the second. Beecher Jansen in the third. Ah, uh, Jansen in a third. Let's explore that really quickly. Doughty and Kachuk on the same team, indeed. McCabe, not a big point producer, very solid defensively. That's a lot to give up. Let's see who else is out there for defensemen. Let's see who else is out there. Uh, but that is definitely a possibility from Chicago. Rosovich, obviously right now we're mainly looking for defense. But I want, I want to see the full kind of picture of what's out there. Kempe, Bovillier... Jeff Petrie. How good's Jeff Petrie at this point? Jeff Petrie can still put up points. And he'll probably be cheaper than uh, McCabe. Tanner Janot is going to set out for the second year in a row. That's unfortunate. So right now we are looking at Petrie or Jake McCabe, if not both. Yeah, Kane, Hoffman, Crosby on the block in Pittsburgh. Andre Pallad, I follow. Gord, Adam Larson. No extension for Larson. Alex Tuck has been traded to Montreal for two seconds. Larson is obviously still just pure DFD. Honestly, he might be better to go for 
he might be better to go for the McCabe. He'll be cheaper. And, I mean, they do kind of the same thing in terms of pure DFD. Hall for Larson, do it. Uh, Giroux on the trade block for Toronto. <laughs> That's his John Tavares. Last year of Tavares' deal. Okay. All right, we have our targets. First and foremost, top target defensively, Jeff frickin' Petrie. Ah, there's no trades for him. I would have really liked that deal. Adam Larson. Lauka a third and a fourth. Nordquist, absolutely not. Beecher in two sixth. Jorgensen a third and a fourth. Lindholm in a sixth. I gotta check Lauko, Beecher, and Jorgensen really quickly. But this is probably happening. So Beecher, 81 at 23. Lauko is 24. Uh, where the hell is that other dude? He was a center too, wasn't he? Jorgensen, 68 at 19. Okay, every single one of them. Every single one of them are expendable. Every single one of them. Let's go back to Seattle. Ah, uh, they have taken Larson off the block or traded him. They said they traded Hayden Fleury, yet he's still there. Well, Adam Larson's gone. That happened fast. Let's go talk to Chicago. Jake McCabe is a necessity now. Lauko Jansen in the second. Beecher Jansen in the third. I'm going to go for Lauko. I mean, he's a fourth liner for us this year. That's a little bit more expendable. I feel like I could use Beecher to get somebody else. God, Lauko's been good this year, though. God damn. 28 points on the fourth line. Shit. I had to go back and take the Beecher deal. You know, at least our defense is solid, even if the deals don't go through. So Beecher, Jansen, and a third for Jake McCabe. That is a lot to give up for a defenseman that doesn't put up many points. However, Beecher's not really kind of making it on this team. Jansen's just kind of okay. But Beecher, Jansen, and a third for Jake McCabe, I am willing to take. We're going all in. This might be Bergey's last year. I'm willing to do that. Jake McCabe, welcome to Boston. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we do still have another forward to trade away, as we know. As we know, we have to trade away somebody, because now one of these third liners are unusable. Charlie Coyle has an extra year left after this. McGinn, a third and a fourth. Looks like, I mean, it could get Scott Perunovich as well. So a third, a second from Vegas. Second for Vegas. Flat out, who hasn't done that well? 28 points for Coyle. Coyle has also been abysmal in the playoffs. Abysmal. And there's Taylor Hall. He's done really well for us this year. Very good playoff performer. Oscar Steen, 37 points. I think it's Coyle. Because even Craig Smith has 32 points. I think it's Coyle. I don't necessarily want to get rid of Charlie Coyle, but he's he's the guy. He's the guy to move. You know, we go out and get Tage Thompson as a sign that we're really going for it. They don't necessarily need a guy like Charlie Coyle, but at the same time, I mean, clearly they're selling. They're trying to get rid of their two best goalies. So I am willing to go through with this. Let's see, we still have a little bit of time left. Three. Yeah, I'm willing to go through with that because they have a crap load of fourth liners. Hate to do it. Charlie Coyle to the Vegas Golden Knights for a second and fifth round pick. Uh, we've done well to keep the majority of Sweeney's guys, but I I cannot make an argument for cheaping uh, for keeping Charlie Coyle. John Tavares went to the Coyotes. We're gonna move Charlie Coyle to Vegas. So Charlie Coyle is out. Tage Thompson is in. That is absurd. Defensively. 
We now have McCabe. The young guys are still here. So we are kind of looking at third pairing now. I think that's that's it. Again, like Luno, Berglund, Nemich, Lore. These are the guys that can fill out this roster on the third pair. Not to mention Brendan Smith, uh, Brendan Smith and Marco Scandella, who have both been pretty damn good. Uh, unless there is a guy where it just makes way too much sense to trade for them. Then we're out. Is there an offer for McKinnon? There's not. Is there an offer for Fowler? There is not. And again, no one else is uh, really up. The Rangers have picked up uh, Logan Thompson. Plus. Anything else out there? I know Ryan O'Reilly's out there again on that super cheap deal. But he is a third liner as well. Like pure shutdown guy at this stage. And let's be honest, right now the third line is Hall, Hall, Steen, and Smith. I mean, if we get Ryan O'Reilly, that would mean that we're trading Craig Smith. A first and DeBrusque. Cop and a second. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wenberg's not really putting up points. Niederreiter's been okay. Taves can suck a fat one. Ooh, Calvin DeHaan's a third-pairing guy. Calvin DeHaan is a third-pairing guy. He hasn't played at all this year. Two seconds. Jorgensen in the third. Is there a defenseman better than Calvin DeHaan who can play third pair? If not, we're going to accomplish Adam Wilde's dream of acquiring Calvin DeHaan. I mean, Tang, I mean, well, Tang is out there, but actually, wow, he's still putting up points. Holy shit. Ah, I'm not giving him Nordquist, though. As much as I'd like to get Latang, absolutely not. Not for that price. And then again, Kempe is out there, but he's a second liner. There's no way we can fit him on the team. Based off the Lions, Marshan Thompson, Pasta, Cop, Bergy, DeBrusque. I guess we could technically... Drop Bergeron down. Wow, is that deal cheap. Are you kidding me? A fourth and a fifth. Fucking what? I'd have to trade Craig Smith. I'd have to trade Craig Smith. That is a super cheap deal. Oh my god. Just for the price alone. I'm aware of the time. I am aware of the time. There's now a deal open for Petrie. Second and a third for Jeff Petrie. Fuck yes. Jeff Petrie, welcome to Boston. Holy shit, how the hell did that happen? How the hell did that happen? All of a sudden, they were willing to listen for Jeff Petrie. Chicago's made a deal. All right, we still got a little bit of time here. Again, Patrick Kane... Doesn't really fit, and also I'd rather saw my nads off than win a cup with Patrick Kane. Fuck him. Uh, Palat and I follow. Alright. It was worth checking. Max Domi, baby! DeBrusque, Smith. Yeah, no. Nylander. Okay, we are super, super low on time. I learned from the Florida Panthers not to get Claude Giroux as the deadline pickup. Rosovich was out there. Debrusque, it's not going to happen. Again, there wasn't really a good deal for Latang. Adrian Kempe. Ah, oh, what? Now they're not willing to listen for Kempe. Well, at least they got Jeff Petrie. <laughs> I realized the absurdity of that statement as I said it. I mean, I wouldn't say I blew it. It's fine. Our defense now is fucking yoked. Our defense is fucking stacked. It's because you traded the picks they wanted. Probably. <laughs> Our defense is looking fucking phenomenal now, though. And again, offensively, it's not as if Craig Smith is that much of a negative. Well, I jumped at, uh, at, at the Jeff Petrie possibility. As a blue liner who puts up points. 
We are officially going to run out of time, and that's okay. Honestly, I don't mind the haul that we have. The tailor. The tailor that we have is pretty good. You see what I'm doing there? His last name is Hall, like Hallway. But I'm saying Hall is in like H-A-U-L. All right, time is just about up. One more attempt for Adrian Kempe. Nada, and that is it. So, at the deadline, we trade a second and a third to Montreal for Jeff Petrie. Both in 2026, by the way. We also send Charlie Coyle to Vegas for a second and a fifth. So, not bad. We acquire Jake McCabe for John Beecher. I think it was uh, Linus Janssen. And a third. Sorry if I'm scrolling through these a bit too far. Uh, a bit too far, a bit too fast. That's what I meant to say. And of course we acquire Tage Thompson for Fabian LaSalle and a first. You can't say. You cannot say that we didn't make moves. We finally had the opportunity. We finally had the roster space to move some people off of this roster and bring in reinforcements, and we did it. Let's see what this team looks like now. Let's see. Eric Comrie is on waivers as a gold tondar. I'm going to say no. I want to have that extra roster spot open. So let's see what we have here now. So again, Swayman and Allmark in goal, Tendick behind him. Uh, it's going to be McAvoy, McCabe, Carlo, Lindholm, Petrie. And then who? <laughs> Probably Mason Lore. With, I think, Victor Berglund ending up as a healthy scratch. And then Brendan Smith is still there. So we have a lot of defenders. But I'm not upset about that at all. I really like how this team is, is looking. Look at that. Tage Thompson, baby. Next to Marshawn and Pasternak. What? <laughs> we got to take out Trent Frederick for Craig Smith. Fourth line still the same. So Hall still a third liner. So is Steen. So Hall, Steen, Smith. Cop, Bergeron, DeBrusque. Bergeron, though, on the third line makes for better chemistry. I'm not really that worried about negative chemistry because I think Steen and Hall will work very, very well together. Bergy is still chugging, man. Look at him. Look at his points. And then the big question is, what do we do with Tage Thompson in the future? Guy's a monster. He's only scored less than 30 goals in one of the seasons that we've simmed. I will extend him if he performs well. <laughs> and then defensively, Jeff Petrie, baby! Beautiful. So we can go Lindholm, McAvoy, McCabe, Carlo, Lore, and Petrie. So we get Petrie as a power play specialist. Now, it's not the best fit in terms of, uh, of coaching strat, but at the same time, I don't really care. If we really start losing games hand over fist, then I'll care. But I I can't imagine that we will. I can't imagine that we'll actually be that bad. Let's get Jagger Furcus back in there. Defensively. So, I mean, again, we did have to give up some prospects to get to where we're at. We gave up some draft picks as well. But I am really not all that concerned. I'm not. This is this was the time for those reinforcements and to go for it. I definitely didn't expect to pick up Tage Thompson of all people, but here we are. And Tage does not want to re-sign. So Tage Thompson might just be a pure rental, while McCabe and Petrie are both willing to come back. Uh, needless to say, McCabe's going to have to play for that $5 million bucks, and Petrie's going to have to play for that $4 million. But Tage Thompson does not want to re-sign. He wants $11 million, even if he does. So uh, Tage Thompson's a rental. But he's brought in for one reason. To help win a Stanley Cup 
for Patrice Bergeron. Period. End of story.